Okay. It seems like the church or people that's supposed to be spiritual are jumping on every hot topic story that comes on social media. And it's almost, it kind of, kind of disturbs me. And my spirit is just like, what in the world? You know, every time something comes out, something that's dealing with the world, not even dealing with, you know, what God is doing, but stuff that, that's dealing with the world, we jump on it. We jump on it. We got something to say about it. We're so involved in it. We keep up with it. It's just all we can think about, you know, and I wonder why is that, you know, because we as people of God, we're supposed to be uh, spiritual people. Like it's not to say that we're not going to uh, see this stuff. We're going to see this stuff. We know what's going on and whatever, but like, let's just say with the Cat Williams situation, Cat Williams is not uh, professing to be a man of God. You know, he and everything that he may have spoke about is his truth. Is what happened to him in the world, not in the church, but in the world. This is the world's business. And so, you know, you got people that met men of God, women of God, that's on their life saying that he's the truth. And, you know, we need people like this. We don't need people that's going to sit down and be drinking alcohol and just spilling their whole guts about what happened to them. Like, you know, everything that happened to him may ha have happened to him. And, you know, the other people may have, be may have been wronged or wronged him or, you know, it may be some truth to what he's saying. That's what I'm trying to say. It may be some truth to what, he what he's saying. But when you are in that place of God, and this is what we desire to be in this year, in 2024, we desire to be in that place in God. Like we want to be closer to God. We, we want to have this deep uh, relationship with God. And we want to have this revelation, you know, that we get from heaven and if we want to be in that place and we want to go to the next level if we want to grow our faith and we want to you know walk in our calling or be obedient to God and do whatever he's called us to do we can't be worrying about what's happening in the world we can't be stuck on those things because that's a distraction for the church and, the, and I just can't see how the church don't realize that this is a distraction this is not where our focus should be on. The world has already made its bed, you know, and they're laying in it. This is their problem. This is their mess. You know what I'm saying? I believe we should be focusing on us as me, me being focused on me because I am part of the church. And I always say this, and I believe this to my core. God called us to be a light in the world and a light in the world. And it's so much stuff going wrong even in the church but i can't look at that and say god is not real or you know i have to be the church i have to be what i don't see you know and i declare like you know in my walk with god that i will just be this light i will try my best to be a light i will try my best to be what i don't see that's in the church or whatever or what we're supposed to be you know and so i just say i just i just don't know why we're so focused on things like that i mean we get so entangled and i'm not trying to condemn nobody or i'm not trying to put nobody down and saying you know but when people say man how i mean you know you you are anointed this is what people say i know what it really means but this is how people say oh you're so anointed like oh god is using you in a in a mighty way like man how you get to that first of all god uses us just because he chooses to use us you know and when we dedicate our lives to him you know he can use us all the more I, my life is centered in christ i gave my life to god so he can use us however he wants to use us but then it comes a separation when god calls you he consecrates you he sets you aside he make you holy for, for his purpose so he can use you for his purpose so my life is for his purpose so it means I'm not um, 
getting involved with the talk of the world and the things of the world. My mind is not on those things. My mind is on the Lord and what the Lord is going to do. And also not just that, but with my own personal life, my own personal family, there's stuff that I am waiting on God to do that I'm, I'm believing God to do in, in my life, in my children. I don't have time to be worried about what's going on in the world and who did what and who didn't pay who and who fake and who this. You know, you got the you got to stay focused on the Lord and the word of the Lord. If if no if they're not speaking the word of the Lord and it's not coming uh from them through wisdom, you know, then we shouldn't be paying attention to it. We want to know what God is saying in this season. Now God can use anybody that he wants to use. But we got to we got to we got to look at every the whole picture. And if you look at the whole picture, this is not God speaking to the church. And so we, we really shouldn't be so involved in it. I don't know. This, this is just me. I mean, this is just me. And I, you know, in my life, you know, and I just, I just feel like, you know, God wants to speak to us in this season. He wants to show us things that's going to happen. And we're entering in this place you know this new season and we don't know what it's going to be and we have to be ready for what's going to come and we can't be distracted by every hot topic every trendy topic trending topic that's um comes on you know social media we got to be focused on the lord the lord says to set your mind on things that are above and not on earthly things we're too earthly you know, God wants to use us, but we're too earthly. We're too involved in things. When the and then don't 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 shoot me down for this. One, but when the movie Color Purple came out, not just Color Purple, The Mermaid, whatever the world has going on, and I'm not saying there's nothing wrong with it, nothing, nothing wrong with going to see it. I have not seen either of those movies because my focus has has not been on it. Maybe one day. I would probably see the cover. I don't know, but I don't have a desire. My desire is on the things of God. My desire is seeing my family healed. My desire is seeing deliverance take place in the people around me. You know what I'm saying? And so I don't focus on those things, but we so we we get so involved. That's all we talk about, and we're missing God. God wants to speak to those who make themselves available. You know what I'm saying? When I called you and you answered me, now I want to pour into you and I need you to do whatever it is I'm calling you to do. Say whatever it is I'm calling you to say. But we can't walk in our callings because we're walking with the world. We can't separate ourselves from the world. And God wants us to be separate from the world. Touch no unclean thing and then I will receive you. You will be my sons and my daughters. That is what the Lord is saying. Touch no unclean things. Don't be involved with all of the things that's going on, the talk in the world and all of the distractions that the enemy is using and then try to make it seem like it's God no it's not God it's not God it's the enemy trying to distract us from what is going on and what God wants to um he wants to show us he wants to show us especially through his leaders his men and women of God the leaders he wants to he does definitely don't want you to get distracted because you got to be the one to deliver this stuff to the people so we need you to stay in that place with God your life should be consecrated you know what I'm saying you it, it ain't no fun time for you like the world have fun you know and so uh we that's just how serious we have to be and that's how serious I am about the things of the Lord and that's my passion and I pray that God's giving me the strength to stay in this place that I am in because it's like that's 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 where my mind is my mind ain't no nothing else but you know the things of God and my uh, assignments and my family and um seeing God move in my family and the people around me so you know 2024 don't get distracted don't get distracted I'm telling you the enemy is gonna come with some very hot topics this year don't get distracted. Stay focused. Stay in your words. Stay prayed up. Keep loving. Keep forgiving. You know, and keep believing in God. Keep trusting God. So, thank y'all for watching this video. Make sure y'all subscribe. Make sure you hit that bell down there. So, when I upload videos, you won't miss out. And comment. Like this video and comment. And uh, let me know how your journey is going. And let me know what you think about all the hot topics that's out there. You think I'm right, I'm wrong, or what? I don't know. But I would love to hear from you. See you guys later.